Well, hey guys, I just did an Obey workout. Man, that was a killer. I'm gonna come in this morning. I'm just gonna put sunscreen on, but I'm gonna use this one that I got from my order from Look Fantastic. It is the Ultra Sun Face, very high protection SPF 50. This is a kind of a combination sunscreen. It has good filters in it, chemical filters, but it also has titanium dioxide, I think. So it does leave a bit of a cast. It's water resistant. I'm gonna review a bunch of these for you guys in a later video, but those of you who tune into the vlogs, you get to see it live and in action going on the skin. <laughs> it has an interesting pump. And it's a pretty thin consistency. So it's comfortable to spread on. Sometimes I find that, you know, thicker formulas they can be a little tacky and have a bit of a drag to them that makes them a bit more laborious to spread across the surface of the skin, whereas lighter formulas are easier. It's pretty moisturizing, which is why I didn't really feel the need to put moisturizer on before. But I have used this with moisturizer, a little bit of moisturizer on underneath it, and I did not get any pulling or anything. My battery is gonna die. <laughs> so take a look at it up close. You can see there is a little bit of a cast. So remember how last weekend I said I was gonna go on Amazon and look for containers to store my spirulina powder in? Instead, I just bought more spirulina except in this brown jar so that when I finish this particular brand of spirulina, I can just put the packet powdered in there and use it as a storage container. You get what I'm saying. But yeah, I got this on iHerb, Spirulina Mana. Um, so I've really been into this lately. I just kind of like the taste. I put it in smoothies, sprinkle it on veggies. It's delicious. It does have a little bit of a fishy taste though, forewarning. However, since I'm so into Spirulina, I also got, I've also been into this and this is blue spirulina, it does not have the fishy taste. See, tasteless, odorless, and colorless. So if you wanna get into spirulina, I suggest this, although it's kind of pricey. <clears throat> That's my coffee bell. What I was saying is, the blue spirulina does not have any kind of funky taste to it. So if you are new to it, you wanna try it. But it looks amazing in your smoothie if you have a smoothie that's like vanilla protein powder, it turns it this vibrant blue color. It's really fun. It's, it's especially fun <clears throat> if you have children. It's kind of like food, you know, putting food coloring in it. It makes a really vibrant color. And like I said, it has, the blue one has no taste. The green one does have kind of a fishy taste. The green one will also dye stuff vibrant green. So that'd be fun for St. Patrick's Day. Well, hey guys, I am on route to Ulta. Uh, I want to look at their Zoya nail colors because I have really been happy with them. That's what I have on my nails currently. It's been on. I need to take it off. Um, the shade is Mia. I don't know if you can see in this lighting. Is it even focusing? The shade is Mia. Ignore the spirulina <laughs> under my nails. Anyways. I've been really happy with their nail polish durability and I like the brush. And I know that Ulta typically has quite a wide selection of colors, but I need to run an errand first and then I'm gonna head on over there. I also wanna look at their combs and brushes and hair accessories. Never thought I would say this, but I'm intrigued by the Dyson hair dryer simply because I've heard that it yields really good volume. See, I have a lot of hair, but it, it's heavy. And so I like to have some lift injected into it, especially now that Gen Z has decided, decided we can't part our hair on the side anymore. I find that if I don't spend time dealing with my hair, I end up looking 
like it just isn't a good look so yeah I kind of want to peruse the hair tools there look at these earrings you guys that a viewer made for me are they not gorgeous she made me these and a matching bracelet has a little has the beads and it has a little dragonfly I also have on these bracelets that another viewer sent me from her shop, Bill, Bill Mayer. I love them. Yeah, the viewer who made these for me, she sent me a card that, she's from Australia, she sent me a card that she made on the Cricut die cutter. Oh, I love it. It is so cute. I'll insert an image of it here. It's so cute with the little um, kangaroos pulling Santa's sleigh. <sighs> sad that the holidays are over but today is a gorgeous sunny day it is not dreary it's not sticky i'm actually wearing that sundress we were talking about the other day that i got a while back from target yes it is warm enough to wear this but i have made it more seasonally appropriate with this cardigan plus it offers me some protection on the dorsum of my on my arms. You get what I'm saying. Oh, man. I hate coming down Kirby, but that's the way to go to Ulta. All right, Slim Pickens here. This is the shade I'm currently wearing. I don't know if you guys can see it. Mia. But they don't have much. I've worn um, this color before, Joni. I really like it. Uh, I'm getting some new brushes. I was kind of hoping they would have some solution to clean your brush, like a sanitizing thing. You know how they have them in the hair salon? That jar that they put the brushes in? I kind of want one of those. Well, Ulta was kind of picked over, but they did have a good selection of brushes. So I got a detangling comb, even though my hair doesn't tangle. I just wanted it for like basic brushing because the flat brush that I have, it doesn't penetrate deeply enough into my hair to really get good brushing. Like, I feel like it's just not efficient. It's good for like putting some shine into my hair, but I wanted something more for just, you know, getting the deads out, as I call it, the little tea legend hairs out. And then I got a little, like, styling comb. And I also got a nail polish. <laughs> but man, the Zoya nail colors were sparse. I did get a Zoya color, but yeah, interesting. And I spritzed myself with Dior Poison. Mm, it's nice, but... It's definitely no Cuba by Check and Speak. So at the Croge, I picked up a new Tuscany candle in the scent Cafe Mocha. This is a favorite. This one and the lemon sugar cookie. I'm just gonna trim the wick right quick. Uh, yeah, this is a good scent. Man, they were really, they were really low on inventory for the Tuscany candles. Like typically this time of year, they put the Valentine's scents out. They always have that like Red Hot Hearts one. It's supposed to be like Red Hot candies, like a cinnamon candle. Didn't have that. They didn't have any Valentine candles out. The possibilities are beautiful. I'll show you what I got at Ulta. I got this teasing brush to add a little volume into my hair. The brand is Olivia Garden. And then I also got, I think I showed you guys this in the store. 
I got this brush because you can actually take this out and clean it and disinfect it and stuff, which I thought would be handy. Also by Olivia Garden. I just like the handle too. Kind of molds to your head. And I did get that nail color from Zoya. Wouldn't you know it though, the one time I want to shop for nail polish, they have like none in stock. What's this color? Beth. I thought that would be good in neutral, match a variety of clothing items. And Necessaire sent me some treats. This is one of my favorite products, their hand cream. If you're in the market for a good hand cream, just like keep by your desk or whatever, that's not sticky or greasy. Highly recommend this. It has, it's got shea butter in it, and it also has marula seed oil in it. It has peptide in it, which may help with barrier recovery. Yeah, it's just a favorite. And I think it comes in a little, I, I know it comes in some kind of metal tube. I don't know if it's aluminum or not. Anyways, love it. And then this looks like it's new. There's shampoo and conditioner. So I look forward to trying those out because it says they're fragrance free. Hmm, cool. Yeah, I look forward to trying these out for you guys. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower and did my skincare routine. Boy, oh boy. I have to tell you, I had a thought in the shower. That's where I do most of my thinking in there. Uh, as I desiccate my skin in the hot water temperature, which you're not supposed to do, but anyways. Um, yeah, I had a thought in there. One of the most problematic issues that affects people, adults, is chronic lower back pain. I mean, it is a big issue. Like it's responsible for more days of lost work and you know, people end up unfortunately sometimes going down a path of seeking pain medications that you know, they become dependent on. I mean, it's, it's an issue. Um, <clears throat> and I see people all the time who have horrible posture just out and about in public and I am so thankful to ballet because, you know, it forced me to develop an awareness of my posture because that really puts a lot of strain on your lower back pain if you slouch. You know, a lot of people slouch at their desk, they slouch in the car. I probably slouch in the car. I'm not perfect at standing up straight, but I do really, you know, try and and stand up straight. And it makes a huge difference, not only for like the health of your spine, but it just makes you look younger, better, more attractive. If you are standing upright, it makes your clothes look better on you. Listen to me, fashionista over here. Yeah, it makes your Costco 32 degree shirts hang better. Seriously, it makes a huge difference. And I think bad habits can start young in you know childhood adolescence especially like around growth spurts and i am in favor of them teaching kids in school to stand up straight i think it would make a huge difference from a public health perspective if everybody just was more aware of having better posture you know core strength can definitely help with that a lot too poor abdominal strength you know it kind of makes you a little noodly um but yeah i mean i really think if they taught kids in school to stand up straight, put their shoulders back, you know, and engage their core when they're sitting down, I think it would set them up for success later on down the road. They'd have better posture. You know, everybody has their own opinion on what they should be teaching kids in school these days. And meanwhile, teachers are like, <laughs> sit down, <laughs> wait till you're called. Yeah, things they need to teach kids in school, in my opinion, from a young age are sunscreen, I don't, you know, I mean, we teach kids to wash their hands, like in elementary school and stuff, that's emphasized, so it becomes a habit. And sunscreen application, I think it should go along with that, you know, I think kids should have access to sunscreen at school and put it on, although I know if you're a teacher, you're going like, oh my god, do you have any idea how much of a headache that would be to get kids to not, like, be a pain with reapplying sunscreen, but seriously, it would it would have a tremendous benefit on their health long term. I know in like Australia, they're really good about teaching kids sun protection and they have like all the shade in the playgrounds and stuff. I drive by schools here sometimes and I am appalled at how 
little to no shade structures there are around. But then I think back to the playgrounds that I used to play on, which would probably be like considered a health hazard these days, not only for the sparse coverage, but just the playground equipment back then was a lot more, yeah, <laughs> hazardous. I don't know. It's amazing that my neck is still intact, uh, but I survived. Anyways, I think they should teach kids to put, you know, to get in the habit of putting on sunscreen, obviously, I think that. And I think they should teach them to stand up straight. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments what you think they should teach kids in school these days. I think it'd be fun to read what you guys think. But I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.